Ahoy hoy YouTube! Welcome to module four of the Necromunda table build. Um, this is going to be quite an involved tile, so I'm going to quickly get cut to the chase. As you may have seen, I'm actually already starting, um, started work on the actual base tile. Um, this is going to have quite a lot of aspects to it. So yeah, I need to crack on it pretty quickly. So <clears throat> again, a bit of MDF. Um, and then I've got my resin casts of my 3D print tiles and I've randomly put them on to the, the, the base here um, just to make it look like it. Because it's, um, this is going to be uh, sort of more of a habited part of the Underhive. Um, uh, you know, it hasn't been as scavenged. Obviously, as, as you get more and more out of the waste in my mind, more and more stuff gets scavenged. So more of the floor tiles are still intact. So tiles on. Um, this is a bit of, again, this is polystyrene with filler and Mod Podge to keep it protected. And a bit of XPS foam here as well. It's kind of give a kind of a guttering. It's not guttering because it's not recessed, but it's kind of that kind of pavement curved effect. That's what I was going for. So I've got a crack on and, um, you know, there's going to be walkways and um, sort of scaffolding, two or three buildings on this one with interiors as well. So, um, yeah, I need to pull out the old bits boxes and have a right old go through them. So without further ado, let's have a rummage. Rightly-o, righty -o. let's have another little rummage in the old um, bits boxes here. Uh, so we're looking for items um, for downtown. Let's see what we've got. We need, obviously we need platforms because I want it to be quite built up and we need things to hold those platforms up. So let's have a look. Um, first things first, no, <laughs> uh, no, no, I mean, the, no, 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 no. We don't want the bell. We don't want the bell. I mean, yes, foam makes off cuts, definitely. Bit of um, rectangular tube. So definitely, I've got a box here to put all this stuff in, so that can go in. Oh. Uh, these are these are like, these are like um, fish tank fills, I think. Something like that. Yeah, we use them. Are these actually? These I don't know. Uh, 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 ah, there we go. Yeah, look, they snap together, so they might be quite good later on in the build for walkways as well. But we'll definitely have those. Okay, let's have another little scrum around. Uh, no. Uh, bases, no. Uh, no. Uh, ooh, this could be quite good. This would be good for all. Oh, that goes with that, doesn't it? A bit more of that. Yeah. Well, I might keep those together because that's a, an Icarus laser, I think. Is that Icarus laser? Yeah, I think it is. Um, no, I've got. I want to keep this out. Yes, I want to keep. I've got a plan. It's not for the the stacks, but for the the stacks for the downtown module. But I've got an idea of like um of like one of the denizens is like a, a traveling um sort of shrine with some priests. So that would be quite cool. So I will keep that out because that would be good for that. Um, so I might make a little church, um, a little shrine or something, so uh, perhaps like a uh, like a repurposed old cathedral or a repurposed old old churchy type thing. So well, I will see. I'm not sure how we're going to get on with that, but that's got me going a little bit. What else have we got in here now? These, I've had these for absolute years. These are connects, I believe. I used the smaller red ones uh, way back in. Um, Part two, the part two video on the Reclamator. Um, I'd love to use these in something. They're fairly chunky. But I'm not sure. I mean, that's quite a good thing, isn't it? Like a big sort of clockworky thing. Could be quite cool. Don't know. Anyone's got any ideas what I can use those for? Drop them in the comments below because that would be awesome. Okay, what else we got in here? So this is a bag of... 
Oh yeah, bag of stuff. What have we got? Definitely, definitely the ladders. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, oh yeah, this is my. Uh, I was going to make. <laughs> so I have a plan to make um, a German Dora. I don't know if we know what a Dora is. It's the one of the those massive was that massive railway cannon that went across two tracks. Bloody great big thing it was. And I had an idea to make a. Um, sorry, I'm just chucking a. I've got these bits here. I've used the skulls on something else, but well, I definitely have them. Um, so yeah, the Dora project. Yeah, I was going to make a bit a 40k version of one. Dirty great big rail gun I was going to make just for shits and giggles, really. <laughs> but it's, um, yeah. Do I still want? I don't know if I want to do that project yet. <sighs> no, we'll keep those out. That's Necromunda. Definitely, it's Necromunda all over. The Dora project's way off. Way off. Uh, yeah, little resin door. These will make great, quite good barricades. We'll have that. What else we got? Let's just shove that around there. Dozer blade. Mm, no, I don't need a dozer blade just yet. That's another part of the Icarus, so we'll have that out with the Icarus bits. Another door. Perfect. So I can put those. Let's have a look. I can put those. Ow! Come here. I can put those together like that. And then damage them all up, put it on the side, and it's a cool little barricade. Or some doors. <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely have a crate. Another bit of brass etch, what's that? Oh, that's got, that's got Imperial Eagles on it. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, I'll have that. That's a skip. My good, you could have that. Be good for a bit of base scatter. That's actually a bit of Lego. That's a Lego thing that I've started de Legoing to make a bit of a uh, make a skip. Whatever that out, definitely. Ah, oh, there's no smaller. So those are the smaller cogs that go with these bigger ones. All right. As I used three or four of them on the reclamator, so I've only got those left. Years I've had those. Perhaps I should have start up a cogs box. That could be quite good. Uh, no. Yep, another platform. Perfect. This is all where I'm going to do. Another crate. That's a resin crate. The crates are going to be great for bits of scatter. A bit of a ladder. Yeah, we'll have that. Always, ladders are always handy in the underhive. Uh, another crate. Resin crate. We'll have that. Uh, more of those plastic kids' tubes. Perfect for... That's the... Bases of columns, defo, defo, defo. What else, what else, what else? More rhino doors, yep, we need doors. Doors are always good. Bit of floor, yeah, these are good. I think we can use, make these, we could, ladders, oh, not ladders, yeah, steps. We could, I could stack, oh, have I got another one? I'll show you what I mean. I'm thinking, have I got another one in here? Yeah, here we go. So these are the things that um, you join, this stuff to get with, this sector of mechanic and stuff. So I think the idea is you put like that, oh, like that, like that, like that. And then you bosh them, you can't really do it because these have been, this is, look, I think this one was glued. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> but we'll have that off. But yeah, they, they would fit, does it go that way? Does it fit on there? Yeah, it should do, there we go. Yeah, 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 so there you go. So it joins in together, so. So what I'm thinking, because you always end up with a few spares, you can stack them up like so. I hope you can see that. A few of them, boom, 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 boom. Set of groovy little steps. So we'll have all of them. Defo. Uh, that's City of Death. Yep. Find the other half of that. That's another column or pipe. That is a pipe. So we'll have that. That's a bit of eye beam, yes. Yes, please. Rhino door. Ooh. Check out oh, another one there's another one of those. Another one of them. Have that in there. A bit of eye beam. Got my little interfaces. Have that in. 
They're those. See, look, I've got more coggage. Definitely, definitely some more coggage here, look. So what am I going to do with these cogs, boys and girls? Let me know. Drop a, drop a comment down below. Because I've got a few of them. Some more brass etch. Beautiful, bit of more brass etch. That's very cool. What else have we got? Uh, another one of them, those. In there. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What else, what else, what else? I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I mean, there's lots of little fiddly little bit. I mean, you know. Rhino top hat doors are always handy. Just the doors in the sides of things. The poor rhino gets used for everything, doesn't it? <laughs> poor old rhinos, they get scavenged and left all over the galaxy. The people say, come along and live in. <laughs> Bless them. I think, are we done here? I don't think there's any more for any more in here. plan for that. I'm going to make a forklift. I'm thinking of a forklift and I'm thinking that with then your forks coming off here it looks like it goes up and down then sort of well it'll be that way up so yeah you had the forks coming off there it looks like this looks like an actuator go so I'll have that. Again once I'm a couple of um couple more modules in I'm going to um Start making what I'm classing as the denizen. So start making a few bits and bobs to sort of populate and you know make the, the modules a little bit more lived in. Well, that's that box gone through. Let's pop these back in here. Otherwise, what we do here And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the craft box and see what we got in there as well. I'm going to put those in there. Chuck those down there. Alright. Open it up. Oh, the craft box. Woo! Alrighty. Um Finally got hold of some more of those pipes, guys. That's what they look like if you see them in shops. Um I got these on eBay, so I think they were £1.50 each with ship, you know, including the shipping. So, you know, I was happy to pay the extra 50p per pack to get some um, delivered during lockdown. So we'll definitely be using a pack of them. So let's have them out. Uh, put the others to one side. I don't think there's anything in the side compartment. That's going to be another thing. Mm, that could be a bit of piping. Lovely. Uh, anything else in here? No, but I've got more of these. So when I made the um, little light stack, uh, a few videos back. That's what it was made out of. And that's what they look like in the shops. So it's like a hair curling tong. And you get three sizes. You get that one, that one, then, and then you get a bigger one. Um, so I am going to make some more of those independent lights, but I don't need them yet. But I know they're in there, so that's good. Oh, look at those. Look. This is one of, this is one of my sorted bags that I've gone through and sorted out bits from... Um, those MDF scraps bags you get from shows and stuff. Oh, shows, man. I can't wait to get back to a show and start buying some, buying some stuff. Although this project is meant to be helping me clear this out. More of those um, filters. That's good. This is one of my actual boxes of my MDF parts. All sorted out nice in various things. This is... You know, ladders and steps, I can do it. Circles for decorative bits. These are all decorative bits. These are quite cool. They're very good for decorative bits. Um, yeah, so I made a whole scenery set of um, Mines of Moria kind of thing uh, using these for a local shop a few years back. That was quite cool. Uh, don't really need any of that just yet. This is what all the bags look like when you buy them. Bag of MDF bits. Chuck those in there because they'll be useful. 
always buy these when I go to the power shop. These are rhinestones. Uh, use them as um, rivets on large models. What else have we got in here? Mild spray paint. That should really be. I mean, the rest of my spray paint, but hey ho, there we go. Oh, look at this. An abundance of plastic rods here. We will definitely have these out. Splendid, splendid. What's that? Top hat of a tank? Yep, all of that. A bit of a vent. Anything else in there? Have it exciting? That's exciting. Oh yeah, we have these. <laughs> these were from an old tripod. An old phone tripod, so we'll have them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's a bit that's gonna get used at some point. Look at that. Look at that. Lovely big bit of flexi piping. Cool. Yeah, we no, oh god, just whack me in the face. Let's have that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. What else we got here? That's another MDF pot. There you go. <laughs> Check that out. Large bits of, oh yeah, these would be great for making up buildings. And I can use those at the side as buttresses. That's all good. I'll keep that one out as well. Oh, it's my tacky glue. I've been looking for that. Oh, I've been looking, that's my aunt, Anita's, Anita's tacky glue, not Eileen's, Anita's tacky glue, I've been looking for that. What else have we got? Let me googly eyes. Don't ask. Oh, I swear to me, what's it good in here? Oh, these are the Hearst Arts Miles, this is where I get the doors and the, the steps and, and the, the, the grills from, that's what those are, that's what the, um, around the, um, the sump pump that I've just done. Uh, flagstones, some Sisters of Battle stuff there. And these are those resin cast uh, wall sections and doors that I've got. So I can make more of them should I need to. Ooh, well, they'll be good. I've got now, remember, I've got these. Um, so during lockdown one, I made uh, a Necrofex Colossus, the big um, undead walking pirate ship thing. Well, I use these for cannon, the ends of cannon barrels, so definitely have those out. That'll be a good thing. Anything else? Oh, I, think we're, I think we're okay for now. Everything else, this is all quite quite chunky. I mean, skulls, I mean, and skulls and dead animals. Dead animals. You know, really? You know, Halloween comes around, I'll buy them. They're great. I'll say, I've used them. I've used them in the past. Perhaps if you go back and... um. A couple of videos way back, you can see me using these skulls and stuff, but I do use them. I'm not just a whole weird hoarder. I do use them. Anything else in there? Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, there's an old tap light there. Let's have a look at that. What picture does that take then? Got triple A's. But that's a kind of, I don't know, what's that? That's an old pan. Wouldn't even have these. Where'd you turn that on then? What's it? Oh, I wonder if it's. Oh, it's there. Oh, we might be able to use that for something. I think. Oh, look at that. Who uses scarf? Who uses scarf leads nowadays? Oh no, it's got HDMI in it. Look at that. More scarf leads. Look, more scarf leads. What's this? What's that? Scarf. Well, that's something for a printer, right? Let's, oh, hello, oh, hello, what's here? Hello, hello, this is like, oh, hello, right, that's a good thing, okay, this is even better, look at this, pay dirt, oh, texture plastic card, didn't even know I had this, two bar, treaded plate, dude, Dude, that's amazing. Right. Hell to the yeah. Right. Perfect. I think that's... Hopefully we have this box more off the right. So a bit of a tidy up there and a bit of a put away. There we go, guys. Bit of a rummage. You finally get to see what's in the craft box. Uh, right. I think the next step then is to start building some um, some platforms and some, some, some buildings uh, for these guys in the underhouse to live and work from. Awesome. 
Thanks very much. All right, guys. So after that rummage, I've actually jumped on pretty harsh already on this one. Really got um, got into a, a bit of a building stride. So um, I've got a few things to show you. Um, not actual showing you how I'm putting the builds together, but how far I've got so far. So I've got a few bits and bobs down here to, to show you. So this is this this so this building's going to be a um, sort of docks surgery sort of like a road dock so i've built this here and that'll fit onto that that'll go on there so this is kind of um echo uh echoing kind of like the old west with a bit of the old boardwalk situation going on kind of so this is kind of got like this, this old west vibe to it so that goes on there that's going to be the base uh i've got some five bar tread plate there well single tread but you, you get the idea uh, and some poles now these are going to have magnets in the top of them because there's going to be another level on top of this and it's going to be magnetized and then what goes on here is i've left them like this at the moment because um they've got some internal detail work so i need to um, get that painted but then, then glue it together and paint the outside so there'll be like a, um, a little sort of uh, operating table in here and then we've got some Little wall sections here that I've made up with some details on there. So that'll fit on there like so. And then I've got another one. I, I, I Just a mirror of that one. Um, again, some internal details in there. Various uh, Games Workshop kits, bit of MDF, um, the Lego piping. Same as the other one, really. And then that fits on like that. Like so. That'll be glued together like there. And then there will be a, a light that will go in underneath one of these sections here to light it. I'm thinking of the green LED because it's um, um, surgery. I think a green LED would be quite good on that one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, a bit of wind, sorry. <laughs> so there we go. And that's what that look, kind of looks like from the front there. And then, cracked on, and I've made a little top level as well. So this will have some uh, plastic card little... Break brackets in there that will slot in there and then two little magnets will go in there and then that will snap into place on there so that's now got a top deck again still keeping with that um oh, that wild west vibe and that's oh god this is going to have a roof as well and it will probably have like a little water tower on top of it as well really trying to keep that kind of yeah tech quest is i think i think what they call it kind of if ever you watch brave star as a kid that kind of view to it and then Obviously, you'll have um, a little walkway around the back here and a, and a doorway to get in there. This is going to be like a big roller shutter as well. Um, again, this has got some internal details inside. You know, if, again, uh, Games Workshop kits, plastic card, that kind of thing. The shutters are made from the internal doors of a Land Raider, which are smaller than the top um, top doors you get on a Razorback or a Rhino. So they make quite a nice little shot and giving that again, give it that um American vibe. And again, this would be painted like a metallic, well, this would be the rust or metallic, and that gives you that kind of that lap board um siding kind of look as well. So that's that, that's so that's the docks um surgery, and I'm not sure what this is gonna be at the top here. Um I haven't filled it up with any junk at the moment, so that's open to interpretation. So if anyone's got an idea what that could be. Um, possibly a sheriff's office. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to make an Arbites precinct. Well, um, enforcer's precinct. Um, so I'm not sure about that. We'll see. So that's that bit there. And then I've made this little uh, bit of scaffolding at the front here. This is all made up. These are actually, these are lollipop sticks, which I bought in bulk uh, from Amazon or eBay a few years ago. Um, and I've, I've had them for yeah years, so I've started using them. Yeah, they're just plastic lollipop sticks. Instead of sitting there eating hundreds of chupa chups, um, I just bought the sticks. I mean, they're about that long, so they're pretty decent. And that kind of fits. That will go in there like that. So if I push that around the front like that, and then what will happen? As this will have a roof on here, and then I'm gonna have something going across connecting the two and then I could have something at the top there possibly one of those um large sort of fuel tanks that I showed way back in the, um did I like was that maybe video one or two possibly anyway um it's back in an old video anyway so 
that's what we got so far. And then I've actually worked on something to go at the back as well. Uh, uh, here it is. So this is just like a little platform I've made and some stairs. Uh, stairs are made out of bits of MDF from my MDF scraps box. Um, some 3D printed connectory bits and some 15 mil pipe. Um, this is from the um, Sector Mechanicus stuff. That it did have a bit of a, a thing glued on it, so I've hacked that off, and I will put something over that to get rid of that bit of scuzz there. And that's just a bit of um, bit of foam. All the white card here is actually uh, Foamex. It's that um, expanded PVC. I've been using this for absolutely years because I used to work in the sign trade, and we get to use an awful lot in the external signage because it can be cut and sanded and trimmed and drilled and shaped and carved and painted. So it's pretty good stuff. Um, Charles Telescope. And then some more of that drink plastic drinking straws and another 3D printed bit. And that bit goes at the back here. So a bit like that somewhere. I think I've got a car. Yeah, I've got to just carve out a little bit of this here. So then the stairs will fit, line up with the sort of pavement area there. So that's where we are so far. Um, got to put some steps coming up, similar to this. They'll go up to here. There'll be a platform running across the back here and then dog legging around and joining up with this one, perhaps some more steps up here. So that gives me some multi-dimension. Um, this will probably be where, I'll, again, a few videos back I spoke about um, doing like a little snack cafe restaurant -y thing um so that will, that's going to live up on here um uh, with and it'll have one way up to it there one way up to it there um so that'll be that there and, and then yeah a walkway along along kind of linking up there maybe something here like a possibly like a another sort of tower like a little perhaps a lookout tower maybe possibly or another water tower or something like that uh, but I think something with a searchlight would be quite sweet. And then I need to do something around the front here. I think perhaps another bit, another tower, another bit of um, scaffolding or something like that. Um, and that will hold up. That, that would be the thing, might be the thing that holds up the fuel tank that goes across. So there we go. Like I say, I know I haven't really detailed showing you how I've built these, but I have, I say, I really have to create, if I want to get this done, in the same time scale as the previous um, modules, I've really had to crack on with this. So, more details to add to it. Let's see how we get on. Okie dokie then, guys. So, um, more stuff's been added to module number four. Um, I've put this gangway across the top then, and some pipes at the front to attach onto it. Now, I've cut down one of my um fuel tanks that i had and that's going to live on the top um that's not glued yet needs some supports to go on there and something that will run like a little gantry runs around the front so people will be able to go along this back here along the back of the docks surgery upper ladder across there around there that should be quite cool possibly the ladder going down so ladder and then then up here on here little platform here as well so the bit i go around there and then down there so lots of interaction with the scenery on um on this module uh, still a long way to go on it though so that's um that's as far as i'll go in this video because this has already rolled on a little bit longer than than most um this will be as we mentioned back way back this will be um little max uh underhive snacks shack <laughs> uh, and that's going to sit on there and uh, obviously it's got the lights in it and the uh Dock surgery will also have a light under there as well. And then we'll probably run some lights across the top here as well. I've got the internals of one of these. Uh, there we go. So with the four uh, micro LEDs on there and the little light switch, that could be quite sweet. Well, and then I can run that along there as well. So that'll be quite nicely lit up as well. Um, so passing that to one side, moving on. So... Paint job's done now on module three on the um, sump pump. Um, so that's all done. This, this still isn't glued on yet because I need this needs to, a good old um, coat of varnish. So um, so then I, then and then once that's done, I will then glue. Oh, got a bit of 
bit of spooge on there. I have to clean that off a little bit. Um, once that's all done, we will then pour uh, the resin. So we're going to be using some um, cheapo five minute epoxy. I've got a few of these. I'm going to bosh them into a pot, add a little bit of white spirit to mix it all up to give it a bit more, um, make it a little bit more runny. And that should also um, lengthen the set time on it as well. Pour it in to give it a little bit of a nice sheen. And then I'm thinking of dropping in another color in places, hopefully to make some kind of like algae, murky nastiness as well. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, you're gonna, this is the first time I've ever done it. You're gonna come with me on that journey. So it could be amazing. It could be abysmal. We shall see. But um, yeah, this is all done, all painted up. And you'll see that in the next video. And I'll incorporate that into the video with more on that as well. Because like, you didn't really need to see me painting this one again. You've seen how uh, on, on the other uh, modules, um, the basic paint job on this. So that's that guys. So next video will be the epoxy pour on this, finishing up the detailing on that. Uh, and we'll take it from there. So you guys have a great week. Um, we'll, and I'll get the video out to you in a week's time. Uh, I want to thank all of you for looking at my videos and, um, and those that have commented. I really enjoy the comments, guys. So um, if you want to comment, please do. That would be fantastic. And if you want to subscribe, that will really help me out. For those of you who have subscribed, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot to me. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, and I know you haven't, I can see you just... Just do it now, just click done. You're done. Two seconds, all done. That'd be lovely. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Okay, you take care, and I'll see you soon.